Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence, not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. Both fighters are 32, with some differences in height, but the same reach. We send it inside the octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the USC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 17 losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Omaha, Nebraska, Anthony Lionheart Smith. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 5 losses. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 204 pounds. Sean Shrek Meet the rules in the locker room. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, match your balls, not fun. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Just big, all punch man. Now we get back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Just missed with the leg kick. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. That was a thudding leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Wow. 
His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. And there comes the separation now. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing uh -huh. in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, uh -huh. stop it. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very accurate. He's very fast. And he has a real confidence every time he throws his punches. So 28 total strikes have now landed for Anthony Smith. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Good punch land. Oh. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Well, if you're going to leave your body that wide open, you're going to pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Well, a single collar tie here. Oh, nice. Nice. Big punch lands for the middle. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range to him. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big knee lands right through the point of midsection. Oh, big elbow. Oh, he connects with another uppercut. He's landed a few big ones so far here. That is his best punch. He finds it from so many different positions, and he can find that uppercut from both sides of the box. Under two minutes now to go. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Right hook to the head blocked. Nice punch, man. He's able to slip the left. Nice leg kick. Oh, some of the best kicks you'll see right there, live and in color. Well, he's landed a few big uppercuts already. I will bet you a thousand dollars he sets it up again here. You're not taking my money, J.A. That uppercut is coming. And when it lands, it's gonna land and land very damaging. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Left hand punch to the clinch. Under a minute now to go. He's got that right hand going tonight, DC, connected with it there. He's throwing so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here. On the he's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Nice loop and punch. 20 seconds left. Oh. First round winding down here. And he landed the right hand there. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next okay, round. Ready, ready, High ready. number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. 
make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Nice punch lands over the top. Pretty good right hand. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. It's over and over, he's landed this big body kick. Whiffs on that offering. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go take that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. What a punch. Oh, big knee. Big body kick lane. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Misses with that punch. A oh, little single collar tie there. What a punch. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the street. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Those leg kicks, man. That's his investment. His investment is in the leg kicks. That's how he slows these guys down and he breaks them down. Oh, left hook to the head. It's blocked. All right, single collar tie now. Oh my God. Oh! Big punch lands. No good. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes. He continues to light him up. But gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course. But you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Punch coming. It's blocked. Oh, look at that. He left up and landed the diving punch to the head. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Ten minutes in the books. So a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books. DC, take us through some of the highlights. Man. Punch after punch landed right on his opponent's face. Did a great job of finding his target, locking in, and then getting, the, getting his fist to the target in that round. Oh! 
All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Straight time to land that punch. Certainly found the target. Just misses with the jab. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, big left hook there. Well, just as he did in the previous round. Wow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. And really starting to make these shots count. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way. The referee's going to stop us. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Yes, they heard it in the last round. Same exact one. Three minutes to go in the round. Nice straight right, Lance. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high. Blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes at top. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Beautiful strike. How about that shin? Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so cool. Oh, he looks so sharp. Oh! He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish on him. He's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. He's gonna attack on bar here. Oh, he picks him up and slams him down. Big explosive slam to lift him and slam him out of that arm bar. Go right into side control. Now let's see what he does, right? Sometimes when you do that, the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter, but he was able to evade it there. Yes. Oh, that'll work. The grounded pound strike is good. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Lands with the right hand. Oh, this is where you don't want to be there. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, you know, I don't like the heat very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> a lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing the fight. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. I love what grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, 
And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of his cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my tune. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to rob the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fight. Trying to establish that jab once again. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard. Oh! Hughesburg, serve him up. Go get him. Well, he continues to land a high... Whoa! So inside the open guard of his opponent, he got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. Nicely done. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh! Crowd loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched club. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliani has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 53 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout, Anthony Lionheart! So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.